you could say Turkish pride is set in stone. One famous motto, how lucky is the person who can call themselves a Turk? But how much luck is there when you call yourself a transgender Turk? And pride takes on a different dimension. Beni kabul ettirmek zorundalar. Ben Türkiye Cumhuriyeti vatandaşıyım. Her şeyden evvel ben bir insanım. Bana trans gibi yaklaşın. Öcü gibi yaklaşmasınlar. Ben bunu istiyorum. Yeni nesil aslında bunu öğren bilinçli olmalı. Farklı değiliz, aynıyız. Bizler de namaz kılıyoruz. Bizler de dua okuyoruz. Bizlerin de içinde Allah inancı, Allah korkusu var. They're like sisters. Many are sex workers. All are fighters, survivors in a country they love, one that doesn't always love them back. Öykü Ay is a mother figure, a leader in Turkey's LGBT community. Annenizden ayrız bir anneler gününde herkesin ağladığını bilirim. Aile konusu çok farklı. Onun için bir annelik kelimesi yakıştırdılar. She slept on the streets, worked as a prostitute, a housekeeper, but she's trained as a teacher. Job opportunities are limited for someone who is visibly different. You'll notice she covers her hair. It was an act of faith and survival, she says, after moving to a more conservative neighborhood. Aslında orada translığımı kabul etmek çok zordu, zor bir süreçti. Kendim bulunduğum topluma uyma gibi bir e, psikolojim vardı benim. Onlar çağırmaya başladılar. Hani e, zararsız bir insan olduğumu görmüşlerdi. Çünkü Türkiye'de translar şey olarak lanse ediliyor, öcü. Yani, hayır hepimiz insanız ya. Yani bunu görmemek için e, e, insanlar çabalıyor sanki. Öyle dudak Many Turks seem to have selective vision. This is Zeki Müren, one of the most famous, beloved performers in Turkish history. He was awarded Turkey's version of the Order of Canada, a gay icon, though he never spoke publicly about his sexuality. His funeral in 1996 drew thousands. He was revered by even some of the most conservative people in this country. Bülent Ersoy is known as the diva, a big star whose peak was in the 70s and 80s, but she's still pumping out hits and making headlines. She transitioned from male to female before anyone even knew to use the word transgender. Their fame is a hypocrisy that some find hard to accept. Türk toplumunda şu an sahnedekileri alkışlıyoruz, sokaktakilerini taşlıyoruz. Yani böyle bir mantık var. It is a double standard. And there's resentment these stars didn't do more to further the LGBT cause. That in 2015, they're still facing hatred and the violent crimes that come with it. This victim was stabbed several times by two clients this spring. Well-known trans activist and sex worker Kemal Erdek was robbed and raped in early July. Eylül Johnson recorded this video in January. She said she couldn't live life the way she wanted to. Not long after, she took her own life. She was 24. Attacks and deaths are a constant for this community. Eğer bir hareket büyüyorsa, destekçisi olduğu gibi nefret edeni saldıranı da çok olur. Asya Dilovan is also a trans activist. Here she is hosting Miss Trans Turkey. These women want to be seen, accepted. There's a trans fashion show too, another way to help the community survive. It raised more than $10,000 last year, money that's a lifeline for people who no one else will help. It funded an LGBT shelter, Turkey's first, that houses up to 20 people. Seda says she wouldn't be alive if this place didn't exist. She was beaten on the street. As dire as it still is for some, others see signs of progress. The fight the trans community in Turkey is in right now is one that gays here have started to win. Many tell me that there's a newfound freedom now. 
They're also starting to feel comfortable being open about their sexuality, at least in cities such as Istanbul. Being gay or trans is not illegal in Turkey. Still, after years of peaceful pride celebrations, Turkish authorities pounced on people at this year's parade in Istanbul. It happened to coincide with Ramadan, the holiest month in Islam. Proof that acceptance, tolerance, is always tenuous here. Turkey's political situation is why Nilar Albayrak got involved in politics. She was a nominee for MP candidacy last year, and she wasn't the only LGBT candidate. And many now say sex work does not have to be the only option. Aylin Pinarertas is also breaking the mold. She transitioned two years ago and is now a doctor. It may not be a smooth transition in Turkey. These ladies bear the scars that prove that. But the country's colors are slowly changing. These steps weren't meant to be an LGBT symbol, but they've become one. The LGBT presence is pushing Turks towards a new era of acceptance so that pride in all its colors can be set in stone too. Nifex al-CBC News, Istanbul.